had a couple of people from the River Room who have actually bought them, and I know Jennifer is extremely excited about her stuffed she, animals. She's excited about her baby. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about these stuffed animals? Hi, my name is Jill Yulo, and we are here today at the River Room Coffee House. And we are going to be doing some interviews tonight of the people who have been here to bring some items, some artwork. And tonight we have you two here with us, and I'd like it if you could possibly uh, tell us who you are and a little bit about what you do. So, do you want to go first? I will go first. My name is Kristen Howley, and I'm here with my mother. And uh, I work in Uncle, uh, <laughs> Uncle Rich's Deli, which is, uh, we also help serve sandwiches here Fabulous too. Fabulous sandwiches that you bring. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my name is Ann Bowles, and I'm here with my daughter, Kristen, <laughs> to share this evening with her. So, tell me a little bit about the items that you brought today. We brought some stuffed animals, which are a big hit. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, our very well, own have bought some. It's been animals. great. <laughs> and uh, we also brought some other gift items, um, candles, mugs, very good. picture frames, uh, pictures, children's mm -hmm. items. Children's, children's items. items. I'm sure that with the holidays coming, there's a lot of that, you know, extra little bit needed. Oh, yeah. And even the jewelry, same. stocking stuffers. Big yes. time. The stuffed animals are absolutely adorable. We've had a couple of people from the River Room who have actually bought them, and I know Jennifer is extremely excited about her stuffed she's, animals. She's excited about her bear. Can you tell me a little bit about these stuffed animals? How did, um, you know, how did you get them? You know, a well, bit about it? I am a rep, and I cover the state of Virginia, okay. and that is one of my lines that I represent, okay. and I sell to the Hallmarks and the hospital gift shops and various gift stores. And then the movable animals that sing and dance and do all the crazy things, that's another line just geared for people to make them happy. You know, my grandmother, I, she was always such a big fan of the animals that made sounds, and every Christmas it was great because we got together or something like that, and she would just dance around along with the music <laughs> on them. It, it was great. So, how is your experience going tonight? Experience, I think, is going really well. I'm enthusiastic. I uh, feel the spirit of God moving. Amen, that's great. And the love in the room. Um, and the band is awesome. I know, right? Awesome. We're standing over there and we're all dancing around. It's a great thing. I feel really good. It's past my bedtime. I, I just feel so alive right now. That's a, that's a fabulous thing. Mm -hmm. And you're all ready for the holidays? Oh, yes. I have to say I am. Oh, Yay. That's a wonderful thing. You know, we do this uh, on the third uh, Friday night of the month. So we hope that you'll come back and bring some more stuff the next time we do this and you know pass the word around that we have these fabulous bands here and great artists from the local Hampton Roads area. I'll be back. Well thank you so I'll much be. for being here with thank us. Thank you, Jill. It's been great to thank speak you, with you. Thank you. And we are going to continue with our interviews and we just want to say thank you again for being here. Thank you very Merry much. Christmas to you both. Merry Christmas. Okay. Hello everybody, my name is Aaron, we're here at the River Room, and we're kind of keeping this interview thing going on with the artists, and I have Tracy and Nathan here with me today, and basically what we're going to be doing is talking about some of the things that they've been doing, and kind of get to know them a little bit. Now first of all, one of the things I like about these two is that they have a hobby together. And I think that is so important that two people who are madly in love with each other, <laughs> right, <laughs> have a hobby together. And so basically, kind of tell me a little bit, how did you guys meet first? Um, we no, met no, at, um, at <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we met at uh, Rock Church, okay. we started out um, fellowship, mm -hmm. and um, we actually just celebrated our 13th year. Anniversary. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. A good looking couple. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord for that. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, also, besides uh, your crafts and arts and things that you do, you're also, you were telling me about your Indian powwows and everything. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm members of the Nahue Indian tribe of Virginia, and a lot of arts and crafts is part of Native American history. Mm -hmm. And what we were trying to do is express some of the history. Mm -hmm. And what we brought tonight were some of the things that, like, what my father, uh -huh. my grandfather, my great grandfather, wow. um, generations of woodwork. Uh -huh. And that's what um, brought here tonight. 
and my wife there, she does the uh, teaching of like bead work and mm -hmm. all different types of uh, uh, some of the other stuff. <laughs> Tell me about the beads. You yes. know, I've, I've seen a lot of beads. Oh, and before I do that, you guys check out, I'm going to try to get some of the pictures of um, the woodworking. It looked like it was actually made with the machine. That's how smooth it was, and I actually thought that that you bought them. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. But I mean, they're very good. But anyway, tell me about the beads. Well, uh, we do bead work, and uh, mm -hmm. there's a story behind uh, the bead work that we do. Mm -hmm. But actually, um, I recently posted some of my um, pillows that I made, mm -hmm. the NFL pillows that I made on Facebook, and okay. Mr. Botcher saw them. He was like, "We're having a craft show. Would you like to come on?" I'm like, "Okay." So um, tonight I actually have the pillows that I made, but I also do no soap feast throws and um and at the powwows we teach children about friendship bracelets because okay. Native Americans they would exchange when they didn't have mm -hmm. um items to give, they would mm -hmm. exchange those friendship bracelets as a way to say thank you, you are my friend. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I met a guy a long time ago and he was telling me he had a really nice belt buckle. And I said, wow, man, that's kind of neat. Where'd you get that from? And he said he had a friend that was an Indian, and they believe that when you like somebody and you're a really close friend, you give them something that you really, you, that, or that's really close to you. And so he said this beautiful belt buckle was just given to him. And I thought that was really great. And uh, I've only been to one powwow. I was just telling them one powwow. But, you know, I'm going to be going to more. And now that I'm right. you guys, right. I'll probably be, you know, maybe hooking up with you yes. and seeing some of your throws and some of the other things that you're doing. Yes. Uh, now, how did you actually get started with the um, um, doing the, the, the arts and things? I mean, did you meet first and then get started? Or were you drawn together because of that or what? Well, we actually, um, my husband is also a photographer. And okay. so he was like, um, <laughs> how we met 13 years ago, he was at, he came up to me and he was like, I'm taking pictures, would you like to take some pictures? I'm like, this guy's kind of weird. And I was on like, missions work, doing a lot of missions work, so like, mm -hmm. we never could get together, and then mm -hmm. finally we did. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and then as we began to uh, use some of the gifts and talents that God gave us, mm -hmm. more gifts and more talents began, began to come forth. Mm -hmm. And I'm the type where whatever I like to do, I just begin to research it, okay. and I make it happen. And then I'm like, oh, wow, I can do this, oh, wow, I can do that. And so it became a hobby, and then oh, people began to say, wow, that's I great. like that, I mm -hmm. like that, can you make it for me? Mm -hmm. And that's how it started. Oh, okay. And uh, now, how did you get started in photography, and are you still doing it? Well, um, I was doing uh, a little bit of photography, um, Really, it was like a hobby and also um, teaching. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, doing high school teaching of different, um, uh, like photography and woodwork okay. in high mm -hmm. school. So you got all into the shutter speeds and the aperture yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, okay, okay. What kind of camera do you use? Well, back then, you know, that, that was a while back then. I'm not, I'm not teaching no more oh, okay. on long shooting, oh, but uh, <laughs> back then, it was a nice candy. Okay. Nice candy with, uh, Come on, man. Uh, I'm a Nikon man. Oh, Nikon. I'm, I'm a friend for you, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. I always tease my buddies who have Nikon, I mean, who have Canon cameras. Honestly, though, if I, if, if I didn't use Nikon, I'd have a Canon, but I tease all my Canon buddies, but... Anyway, it was nice meeting both of nice y'all. Nice talking to you. And we hope to check back with you in a little bit Thank and maybe you. look up with you another, at a later time and see what else they're doing. And also, guys, check out some of their pillows. I'm going to have those there and you can see the, what they're doing with that, okay? Thanks, and you guys have a good night. Our tribe's website. Sure can. Yo, go ahead. Go ahead. Notwayindians.org. N O T T O W A Y Indians.org. Okay. Thanks, guys, and y'all have a good night. Bye. And I think we've got one more interview tonight. So hang on, we'll be right back. Well, I'm so glad that you were here with us tonight. Um, I've been a fan of your work. My husband, you know, from the last time that you were here, he absolutely loves your work. So I'd like you to introduce yourself to us and uh, tell me a little bit about your work and when you got started. Thank you, Joe. My name is Christina Donnelly. I'm an artist. Um, I've been creating art ever since I was a child. Basically all my life I've been through a degree in art. Um, it's really been a part of my healing process. Um, I grew up with a lot of trauma growing up and it's just been kind of a natural response to that. And actually as a result of that I became interested in using art as a healing method. Not only help myself but to help other people as well. I'm an art therapist. I work at Brooks Avenue Health Center. And so, you know, art is just a very important part of my life. 
So not only does it fly really for myself, but also, you know, it's just a lot of fun. Um, so my work kind of reflects the human process and also just kind of fun of art pieces. And also, um, my work reflects my relationship with God, which is really important to me because He's really the one that's in charge of the healing. And so the Spirit you know, works inside of me and is communicating to me all the time. So often he'll use my art as I'm making it to communicate his love to me or just different messages that I wish to create or to communicate to his public in general as well. I think that's wonderful. Um, when you were talking about the, the healing part of it, that's how I got into doing some of the art. You know, just like God worked through me and into the music, the, the, the art that I'm doing, you know, and it happens with music too. And, you know, when you just get into that, that mood, you know, you're just right there with God. It's just amazing what comes out on those canvases. And when you talked about doing it to help others, that's what I was, I still am trying to get into. I just think it's, it is important for the creativity, for people to be able to just put things down on paper and just let the feelings just come out. Some of the most amazing work will happen. And it's evident in your stuff. Um, there's a, a painting, remember last time when Mark saw it, and uh, it was, I believe, an, an angel. And the angel one, yes, yes. He absolutely loves that one. Um, that may have to come home with me eventually. Um, so tell me a little bit about uh, your, your family life now. We have a special person with you here today, and it's uh, it's her first concert, first art show. I brought my daughter with me, and also her baby, which is my granddaughter. Yes, and she's my first daughter. granddaughter, yes, and she's going to be a month old tomorrow. And and I'm very excited about it. She's just been a blessing in here tonight. I'm so glad that you brought her, and that they're both here, and they're sharing this night with you. I'm this so is excited, really too. Oh, well, good. Are you ready for Christmas? I'm really ready for Christmas. I'm so excited, because that's why so many new wonderful things have well, thank you so much, Cassandra, for being here, and I just love being here with you, so I'm just Thank so happy you. that you're here, and we'll get to see you the next time and the next time, and just keep telling everybody that we're doing this. We want to say thank you for coming here tonight. It's been a great night at the River Ram. We're all getting ready for the holiday season, and we just look forward to whatever comes our way the next time we meet. So, yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, and if you want to find out more about my art, you can go to Fine Art America. You, you can just Google it and then look up Cassandra Donnelly. That's my name as an artist, and you can find out all about it. That's perfect. And read all the things that God's been telling me. Thank you. Thank you, Okay, bye-bye. Thank bye. you.